why is poetry important to me? I've been asked that question a bunch of times. Why is poetry, what started you writing poetry? Uh, why is it important to you? What impact can it have? Well, for me, starting off, um, it's a way to express uh, what you can't always express to people. You know, sometimes you, uh, people don't want to hear it or people are in another place, you're in a different place than those people around you and you need some way to express it. For me, poetry was that venue. The poetry was that expression, that way to vent what I was feeling. And I'm not saying, uh, I don't know if I start off as a good poet. I don't even know if I'm a good poet now, but I know I'm a poet that speaks from the heart because that's how it started. It didn't start in a class. It didn't start with um, uh, slams or, or poetry contests or, or entering contests. It started as a very private, individual, uh, sacred, intimate thing that I, a discussion I had going on with myself. And that's why poetry became so important to me. It let me be free. I didn't have to worry about what words I used. I didn't have to worry about if this made sense to anybody. I didn't have to worry about if somebody's, if my spelling was okay or wasn't okay. You know, I just let it go. I just let it flow. And after a while, it became like second nature. It's like I was always wanting to speak to myself. Always wanting to speak to myself. Always wanting to see what I was thinking. You know, get in tune with what I was thinking, what I was feeling. And poetry allowed me to do that. That's why I think poetry is so important. It has been for me. And I think it's for, for anybody. Anybody. Just write things on a page. Just get it out. And a lot of my stuff started negative. Um, feeling negative about myself, about my environment, about my upbringing, about my relations with certain people in my family, the community, whatever. And that's how it started. It started really, really negative. And then from there... Um, as I evolved as a person, my poetry evolved. It couldn't help but evolve. That's just, as human beings, that's what we do. If we're trying to be better every single day, then automatically we evolve. That's just a natural process. I believe that's a natural process. So as I evolved as a person, as I evolved as an individual, as I evolved as um, a spiritual being, which I think that's what I've done or I'm, I'm attempting to do, not through religion, because I couldn't stand that, and that dogma, I couldn't stand that. So that was part of the stuff that I wrote about because I came up in that. I came up surrounded by that. I came up sur surrounded by people that said they loved, but didn't show love. I came up surrounded by people that said they cared, but didn't show care. So I didn't want that. I fought against all of that. So my poetry early on, even now, but my poetry definitely early on was a demonstration against that in my own ways. It wasn't to show anybody, it wasn't to sell books, it wasn't even to write books. It was to vent against that stuff that I saw as a wrong in my upbringing, in my environment, in the society right around me. So that's what poetry was. It was very, and still is, very important. It's my favorite mode of writing. It's the only thing that I can do and say, okay, when I'm finished with something, I feel like it's complete. If I try to write a story, then I have to make sure I'm, I'm doing all the right things, you know, as far as a story, as far as um, grammatically correct and that kind of stuff. But with poetry, I don't think anything's wrong. There's certain poets that touch you and certain poets that don't. But I don't think there's a way to say, okay, this is right and this is wrong with poetry. Poetry, in my opinion, my humble opinion, is from the heart. And if you speak from the heart, it can't be wrong, especially if you're speaking from your heart about what is concerning what is involving you. Nobody can come in and tell you, well, that's not right. Put it this way. I, I don't think you can do that with poetry. With stories, yeah. With novels, of course. But with poetry, it's, a, it's, a, it's something, it's far more intimate, in my opinion, than any other form of writing. So for me, that's why it was so important. That's why I latched on to it. Because at certain points, I had to have something to latch on to or I was going to strike out. I was going to strike out in a negative way uh, uh, against that society, against that community, that small community that I was involved in. I was going to strike out for sure. I was going to hurt something or something was going to hurt me. So poetry kept me, um, not balanced so much, but it kept me from striking out when I wanted to strike out. So I struck out in a different way. I'll put it that way. 
I, was, I struck out in a different way and poetry was my different way. I didn't get into drinking, I didn't get into drugging, I didn't get into partying, you know, I'm not knocking people, to, but that wasn't me. I had to find something else that wasn't destructive for me. And poetry was that venue that allowed me to strike out, holler, scream, whatever I wanted to do on paper, on paper, and, and, and get some of that stuff out. And so as I evolved as a person, as a poet, as a man, as a black man, as a human being, um, poetry was right along with me in that process. So I give all praises as far as you can, as, as far as something really bringing you out of your shell, um, as far as something giving you a voice. I give all praises to, to poetry. You know, the, the universe, whether you call him God, Allah, whatever you want to call what put us here, the universe, the great father, the great mother, whatever people want to call it, because I won't get into all of that. But whatever it was that put us here gave me poetry. And that's why poetry, I, I will always stand behind it as the number one thing for me that got me from point A to point B. And from there I can get to C, D, E, F and I can go farther. But poetry was that initial move, that, that initial step that made everything else possible. And that's why I write poetry.